Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Mullinax, and I am a manager uh, here at Armanino on our managed services team supporting our Dynamics CE clients. And today I'm going to kind of walk you guys through um, some of the new features of the modern advanced find that is included in uh, this 2022 release, uh, wave one of uh, Dynamics CE. So if we bring up our dev environment that we have here, um, the first thing that you'll notice is that we no longer have our funnel up at the top uh, to get to advanced find. So now in order to uh, search for those records, we're gonna wanna enter the advanced find through the global search bar at the top. Um, and you'll notice down here at the bottom, now it says search for rows in a table using the advanced filter. So if we click on this, then we can uh, select our table that we want to query. So if we say we wanna search for accounts, and then we hit continue. What you'll notice happened kind of in the background too is we switched down here to the account table. Um, so now we're, we're kind of in that, that area. And from here, you can just kind of build your query like you normally would um, in, in the old advanced find layout. Um, and it's kind of the, the same principles of you can add rows, you can add related entities. Um, so if we wanted to search for accounts and then maybe related opportunities to that account or the opportunity owner. Um, so it's kind of the, the same principles of, of building your, your query, but uh, just accessing it through a different point. Um, you can also um, still group um, records with and ors. So to do that, you would select each different part of your category, you could group them. Here's your and or clauses. Um, and then from there, you can apply and you'll see when we return back our data. So a uh, little bit of a different method of getting there, but I uh, kind of give you the same results um, in just a little bit of a different view. You can still export this data. Um, and then if you want to go back, you can edit the filters uh, again right here. So just a, a new kind of modern method of accessing the advanced find. Another thing I wanted to highlight for you guys um, is the new um, kind of expansion of uh, working with the views of, of this data. So if we pop down here to leads, uh, you can see we have our view selector up here. Now you'll notice uh, your personal views uh, are kind of um, highlighted with this little person icon. So this is kind of an easy way to tell which ones our system views, our personal views, we no longer kind of have that break where you always have the system ones up top and then the personal ones at the bottom. Um, some of the new features also enable you to kind of manage these and share these uh, a little more easily. So if you look down here at the very bottom, we have this manage and share views. So if we click this, here we can see, we can sort these now, we can put our personal ones at the top uh, or we can put the system ones at the bottom uh, or just sort them A to Z. Uh, and then, you know, you would know your personal ones with this little um, head icon. Another uh, kind of way to manage these, and it's a little bit easier and more user-friendly, is just this ellipsis over here. This will enable you to deactivate them. You can assign them, edit their title and uh, description, share these, also set it as the default view, or perhaps you just want to hide it um, and not see it in the list because we all know how quickly that list can grow. So... Set as default. We can share these. And then just, you know, a little bit different way of sharing those with the users and teams. So hopefully you'll find this a little more user friendly. Uh, I think the biggest adjustment for everyone is definitely going to be kind of not going up here anymore for your advanced find. But uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us and hopefully you found this useful.